Barcelona have submitted a complaint to the European Commission in a bid to stop Paris Saint-Germain from signing Lionel Messi, Massa reports. Their lawyer, Dr. Juan Branco, has filed a case before the Court of Appeal in Paris on behalf of Catalan club's membership. Messi has been a free agent since July 1 and PSG will not need to pay a transfer fee to Barcelona. The 34-year-old was prepared to sign a new deal on behalf of his wages, but the La Liga giants were unable to renew his contract because of La Liga's financial rules. PSG are widely expected to seal a deal for Messi this week on a two-year contract. Well, joining us tonight to discuss this is a sports commentator, Loveday Gutson. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Great. So tell us, do you think that PSG will be able to pull off a messy signing considering the UEFA financial fair play hurdle? Oh, yeah. I think they have so um they uh, they Messi have really tried for PSG. I mean uh playing for them for twenty one good years. They used to say that everything that has a beginning has an ending. I think um it's just time to call it out. He played for uh, 21 years, and, um, and you have 34 trophies in 34 years. I think it's an opportunity for him to try another club and then uh, see what he can make. And Barcelona trying to uh, win a case for him. He can't stay in the club forever, even if it has been done before, to try another club. And I'm thinking that Paris Saint-Germain is a very good club for him to head on. Now, but, but reports have it that, you know, the ratio between the salary and the income for PSG was, you know, about 99% in the 1999 to 2020 season. Now, which was worse than that of Barcelona? Um, and so, really, help us to understand, what other clubs can afford Messi if PSG fails to pull through with this deal? Because a lot of people are really concerned. Yeah, I think uh, even uh, choosing uh, Paris Saint-Germain, I think... You have a uh, Neymar in Paris Saint-Germain. I think um, Messi should have looked at the English clubs. Um, uh, uh, Manchester United, Manchester City have uh, signed uh, Zach Grealish. I think um, he should, Manchester City should have been a good destination for him. Uh, but uh, looking at the way things are, I think one of the English clubs, even Tottenham, could be able to uh, sign him. Because uh, uh, they are one of the best in the in the world, uh, English club is one of the best in the world. So um, looking at Manchester United, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur, uh, these are great clubs for him. So if Barcelona fail to sign him, I think one of these clubs can make a way of signing Lionel Messi. And uh, he still have a great year, 34 years. He still have about three years to play. Well, what what would a combination of Messi, Kylian Mbappe, and Neymar look like? <laughs> well, that's going to be a going to be a, a deadliest attack. We saw that in Barcelona. Uh, I think uh, we saw that with the name of Messi, Luis Suarez, and, um, and one of the um, good uh, strikers. I think it's going to be great because um, uh, Lino, uh, Neymar has been waiting for Messi. I mean, he's been waiting for him for a long time, and that is opportunity for Messi to um, harm Paris Saint-Germain, their, their first Champions League they have been waiting for. So I don't think, uh, I don't see why the hesitation uh, Paris Saint-Germain should grab him and expect uh, Mbappé to play from the, uh, the right, Messi to play from the left, uh, or Mbappé to play from the center. It's going to be a deadless attack we have ever seen in this 25th century. It makes me really excited and I look forward to the new season because it's going to be, uh, I mean, very interesting one to watch. Yeah, he said that, that uh, he said that, that he see, uh, a new chapter is about to begin. So I think it's a new chapter for him, but though with tears and everything, um, his, uh, Barcelona has given him so much and he has given Barcelona so much. Mm. And... Um, well, we can't wait for a new chapter to begin. I mean, if uh, you look at him, he's in tears. I mean, so much in tears. Mm. You can't believe it. It's, when, he gets, when he goes back home, imagine uh, the, the, the Barcelona fans are uh, uh, filled up there. I mean, he, he, he knows what he has uh, gotten from the club and what he has put in from the club. 
is a is a very big uh, is a, is a, is a, you know is a is a time that you can't call it all, but he came in with a, a, a being a 13 year old boy, and now you're going out with a wife and your kids. I mean, it's happened. So it's happened to some people, even in Lagos. Some people yeah. come to Lagos and, and then they go home with uh, you know with riches and all that. They came sleeping under the bridge. I mean, that's why he's in tears. Mm. If I'm messy, I will cry. I will stop more than that. Oh well. Um, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens in the new season. Thank you very much, Love Day, uh, for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Great. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.